going to be tool safe. Watch this video to find out the safety guidelines for this equipment. This is an introduction to safety for using the abrasive cutoff saw for metal. This tool uses a formed abrasive blade that abrades on cutting steel or other metals. It will create sparks and flying debris, so protecting yourself is the first order of business. Before we start, it is essential that you are wearing the necessary personal protective equipment or PPE. First of all, you need to protect your eyes from flying debris and sparks. Really, there's a lot of sparks, and it's normal. Safety glasses are a must, but a safety face shield will protect the rest of your face. Also, take a moment to think. You should never operate any machine while under the influence of medicine, drugs or alcohol, or you are tired. The abrasive cutoff saw also creates loud noises, so we need our hearing protection. You can use approved earplugs or earmuffs to lessen the harmful sound waves. Make sure everyone who is close by is also wearing hearing protection. The abrasive saw also generates sharp edges in metal and intense heat, so we need to wear work gloves when handling the saw and materials, before, during, and after. Before the machine is turned on, conduct the pre-operation inspection. Make sure the abrasive blade is not cracked or chipped and is still large enough to cut the workpiece. Review the manual. If the blade has become too small or cracked, tell your instructor and replace only after you have permission and only if you've been tested and approved on the procedure. Check the electrical cable. Make sure there is no cuts, exposed wires, or faulty plug. Tell your instructor immediately if there are any issues. Make sure it is tagged for lockout and repaired before using. Use a highly visible line like chalk or fluorescent paint to measure mark your workpiece. You may have already scribed it with a tool. This is so you can focus when the sparks are flying. We're going to position the workpiece to be cut. Grasp the handle without squeezing the trigger. Then, lower the blade and line up the scribed cut line. Observe that the blade guard moves out of the way of the blade. When the workpiece is positioned correctly up against the secure fence and aligning with the mark, tighten the clamp and secure the workpiece. You are now ready to cut. Position yourself stably, away from the line of cut. Make sure your other hand is nowhere near the blade. Squeeze the trigger and bring the blade down to contact the workpiece. Continue to apply pressure until the blade passes through the workpiece. Listen carefully. If the blade bogs down, you are cutting too hard. Lessen the pressure on the blade. Lift up the blade and release the trigger. Let the blade stop before doing anything else. Once you are done, release the workpiece clamp and remove the workpiece. Beware, the workpiece may be very hot due to the friction of the blade. Handle with care. Do not touch the cut end. Use gloves. The cut edges may have very sharp burrs. Deburr the workpiece using a flat file. Once you have completed your cutting and deburring operation, you need to remove all debris from the saw and the work area. Use a shop brush on saw and work surfaces. Use a broom to clean up the floor area around the saw. Double check the saw and blade condition. Report any issues and make sure that the saw is ready for the next operation. Set any blade locks if they are present to store the saw. Put away the saw by first unplugging it from the wall, then wrapping the cord neatly around the saw. Wash your hands to avoid getting metal debris in your eyes or on your skin. Congratulations, you've completed a successful and tool safe operation. Let's recap the main points to ensure we're tool safe. These tools are loud. Everybody in your area needs hearing protection. Abrasive saws create sparks and flying debris. Everyone in your area needs eye protection. Examine your blade before starting. Make sure it is large enough and not cracked. Position yourself away from the front of the blade while it is on. Listen to see if you are putting too much pressure on the cut. Clean up well around your equipment. And if you're not sure about anything for safety, ask your teacher for more direction. And don't forget to be tool safe.